Let me tell you about a lady known as Grandma to me. She died back in 1982. She liked to tell stories of how things used to be, just like other old ladies do. So we are uh, we are here at the entrance of the Ida refugee camp, standing uh, at the biggest uh, key in the world. It's a metal key, the youth uh, Ida Youth Center. Uh, uh, made and this key was uh, and uh, this key was uh, from April to July on the Biennale festival uh, in Berlin representing uh, this I mean the symbol of the right of return of the Palestinian refugees this he was uh, with the with the key in Berlin for ten days, and uh, Berlin was so beautiful. <laughs> okay. Uh, why did we put it here? For the entrance of the camp, so that every child, every boy, every child, every man, every woman, every child, 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 So we put this uh, this key here, the very entrance of the refugee camp, to remind any person, any uh, child, uh, woman, man uh, passing here that uh, he has uh, uh, the he has uh, he is uh, from somewhere else and he has the right to return uh, there and he will return there. They, they paint this, uh, this graffiti last year in September last year when uh, Mahmoud Abbas uh, applied for at the Uni United Nations for the recognition of Palestine as uh, as a full member and uh, actually I'm not sure if before I said 174 I think I did a mistake because the um, the um, the resolution for the right of return is 194. And it's at the same time uh, a symbol of becoming the 194th uh, state in the United Nations. She talked about her neighbors, Muslims and Christians, Arabs, Britons and Jews. They'd come over for dinner in her house in Yaffa. They'd Talk about business and news We got along fine A long time ago Before everything started to change The view is uh, going uh, like a snake They started building in 2002 And they finished uh, approximately in 2006 هم بينوا في زي ما حكيت تحت قتلوا 186 واحد وقتلوا أربعة أطفال. During the the building they they arrested 186 86 inhabitants of Aida and they killed four children. البيت الموجود هون هو تابع لعايدة. The house you see in front of you is the part of the. Family members are still living in. And among them are six children who are going to school. This UN school you see on your on your back. So before the building on the of uh, the wall, these six children uh, were able to leave the hope at uh, five to eight because lessons start at eight o'clock in this uh, school. But uh, now they have to wake up at four thirty in the morning. So it uh, would be possible to them uh, also to directly walk down to the to 
the main checkpoint, which is the checkpoint we saw right now, the 300, so that they would be here in, uh, within uh, 30 minutes, but uh, the Israeli authorities decided that the route they have to, uh, to follow is to, uh, to go to the main uh, settlers' uh, road you see over there. What you see in front of you is the uh, settlement of Biro to enter to Jerusalem and then to come back to the, to the checkpoint. So they need the three hours coming, three hours going back just to go to school. And in spite of everything, they are coming every day, they are keeping going to school. So the, the settlement you have in front of you is the settlement of Kilo and it happens quite often that uh, the family living in this uh, house is subjected to, uh, to uh, threats by, by settlers uh, coming down either with, uh, with dogs or throwing stone at the, at the house or, or even liber uh, liberating uh, snakes and they, the, the house as we heard of also yesterday in Arwalaje uh, we got uh, many offers, uh, many money offers uh, to, to leave the house. effect of, uh, of the wall is that um, people, uh, Palestinians, who were uh, before working in the building sector inside Israel and, and could, if you imagine that the wall wouldn't be here, could just enter, go to, through Gilo to Jerusalem and from Jerusalem to any other Israeli city, are now prevented to work in, uh, in Israel unless they can get a permit, but the policy is to give less and less permits. So the result is that 65% uh, uh, of the people in uh, Aida Bas or the Shaklam, in Aida are uh, uh, unemployed. So as we, you heard already in the presentation about uh, water yesterday, you can see all the water tanks on the roofs of the, of the houses. One of the main problems for the refugee camps is the water shortage. They, become, they get uh, once a month for one day water supplies. In the, sorry, in, the, in, the, in the summer, sorry, in summer. Uh, can you ask them, why is there water in the water in the water? Why is there water in the water? Can you ask them, why is there water in the water? I'm going to talk to the Israelis with the Israelis. The water comes to 26 hours a day, not 24 hours a day. So if you, if you would compare the situation of this refugee camp and of the settlement just uh, over there, the water supply, as we heard yesterday, is uh, continually, continuously and uh, not problematic at all for the settlers living over there, while, they, while uh, the access to uh, water for refugee camps is very restricted. So the, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but if you maybe if you stand on a, on a chair, you will see that uh, in uh, inside this uh, square created by the wall, there is a red house. This red house is belonging to a, a Palestinian from Bethlehem who was evicted from the house, and the, and the house became a, a Talmud, a Talmud school. 
كمان في في جنبها مقبره للمسلمين لما بنوا الجدار كانوا الميتين الموجودين اللي بيعارضوا حتى الميتين مش مرسومين كموهم رموهم برا For the building of uh, the wall to surround the Rachel Stone, just it's important to mention that they surrounded Rachel Stone so that uh, uh, Rachel Stone is accessible from Jerusalem and not from this side because obviously Rachel Stone is a big uh, touristic attraction, so they would just come with buses and enter directly Rachel Stone. What? Yes. I mean, they are bringing. I mean, the idea of surrounding the, the tomb is that uh, they would still have access for tourists from Jerusalem, but they don't have access anymore from uh, from this side. So it was saying that for the building of the of the of the wall, they even damaged and uh, de or removed some of the um, of the graves of the um, of the cemetery nearby. The school uh, okay. pretending not to know that this is a school, and they they injured 20, 20 children. And uh, after, uh, as you can see, there is a, a UN sign and yeah. the US flag, so it's quite, um, I mean, not very likely that the soldiers 200 meters from here don't know that this is a school. But the consequence of that was that the children refused after the attack to, uh, to go to school because they were scared of further uh, attacks and they closed down the, the windows to protect them. Zimmergab war äh, außer die, die Küche eine Dusche. Ah, ja. Also wir haben immer ausgeduscht, aber die, die eigentliche Toilette war durch äh, 30 Leute geteilt. Ja. We got along fine a long time ago before everything started to change. I never imagined back in those days I'd end up here. On this firing range There on a string around her neck Dangling in front of her heart The key to her home The key to her people The key to her world 